This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, the Game Boy Geek here. Hey, it's October and we forgot to do the Saxophone Serenade for September. So I am going to list all the games that I gave Saxophone Serenades to last, last month, which meant they actually stayed in my gaming library. First was Shot and Totten. This is a two-player game that was based upon a game called Battle Line, and you're just trying to take over a certain amount of stones uh, in front of you, but it's a two-player game. It's very thinky. Uh, it's very easy and quick, 20 minutes. Has some very interesting ways that you're trying to put like straights and flushes and different, different items there to try to win, but you're trying to win either three in a row or five total. Some interesting things there. The next is Junk Art. This is a game I normally wouldn't like. It's a stacking game. But the game comes with 11 different cities, and you only pick three from each game. So every game is going to feel different, and each of the cities is like a different mini game. So it's almost like there's 11 different games in this box. And I absolutely loved it because it's very easy to play with non-gamers, but it's very gamer-ish too. Next is Walk on Fire. It's a very quick and easy filler game where you're taking cards and spatulas, and you're flipping ingredient cards up, and you're grabbing them, and you're doing set collections sort of like Sushi Go, where you're trying to get certain vegetables, you're trying to make different meals. Very fun game there. The next is The Ravens of Three Sahashri. It's a two-player asymmetrical co-op game where there's no verbal communication. Uh, the, play, the two players play very different, but you're trying to conduct poems to speak to uh, your counterpart there. It's a very weird and interesting, unique theme, and it's one I loved because it was so different and fresh. The next one is The Networks. This is a Euro-style game, takes about 60 minutes to play, and you're, you're developing TV shows, you're adding stars, you're adding advertisements, you're trying to slot things in the right time slot, you're trying to get synergy bonuses for always having a lot of the same genre. Very fun Euro-style game with a great theme, it was a ton of fun for me. And last we had Kaboom, which is a family-style game where you're, you're building up stacking blocks for certain points while everyone else is shooting dice at you like a catapult trying to knock your stuff down. It's just silly family fun. So that's it. If I had to pick a favorite, it's probably either Junk Art or Ravens of Three Sahashri just because they're just so different from anything that I'm used to and they were so fresh and unique. But that was it for September. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameboyGeek.com. Click podcast.